blessed love we we, <laughs> we give thanks for um having some time for us our target was going on yes sir we just have a drive putting in some work for the album so you know it go <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the reason we're here today, right, is to discuss the topic of education versus indoctrination. And Truly. I believe most are confused between the two. <laughs> how, do you, how do you view the difference between education and indoctrination? Well, education to me is accessing information that can lead you to a state of enlightenment without being um, forced or without being biased. So education can't be biased. Indoctrination now is, is, is something that comes with a set philosophy. And because it comes with a set philosophy now, it basically forces you to practice the ways of it. Like, a, like an example of indoctrination, you have capitalism. Them tell you how capitalism functions and them force you to believe that this is how it functions. If you go against it, then you will become an enemy of the state and then you and them will go to war. So education is more free flowing and getting the access of information, you know? And in regards to education now, right? Um it seems that people on a whole across the board with races, right? Economic classes aren't really partaking in the journey of education but are only being exposed to indoctrination yes, sir. by a structured system of particular thoughts they should have and particular behaviors that they should replicate. How do we go about giving them education or to make them think about the things they have been given? First, well, 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 the first thing that we, we really have to do as a people is give the information about history. Because Marcus Garvey said people without like knowledge of history are the roots. Basically, they're like a true without root, him say. So, if them don't really understand who they are, they can't know what to do and where they will go to. Because direction is a thing that is needed. So, a sense of historical direction is the first thing that is needed. And like us African people, we need always of African centricity in our minds. But if we don't know so we're African, or we're gonna have the African centricity centricity in our minds. So the first step that a sense of direction and enlightenment into who they really are as a people. So we have to give the people that because sometimes we feel like say, them them knowing about them don't know. Then just hear like a basis of it and then get a sense of indoctrination as you say and them think it's education and because that 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 so-called education came from a person who is certified the certification automatically allowed them to think that so the person is right sorry to cut your argument right but you brought up a very great point because that is a thing most people suffer from they believe that because a person has a particular title Yes, sir. That that puts them in a position of authority and puts them in a position of knowledge when it's just a title and that title could come through many means that have nothing to do with the acquirement of necessary. I mean, they knowledge. don't deserve it either. True, true. And they don't deserve it because they never really work for it. What do you work for? By following the, the syllabus given by a board of trustees? How do we encourage our people to love education more it seemed like i call it an anti people don't like it when i say it, but it is what it is and we're talking about with our people in regards to um people of african descent or people in the diaspora we have an anti-intellectual culture true where we don't really deal with when we when we view reading we view that such a burden as something so boring and certain something yes, that's so uncool and the thing is ignorance is not bliss exactly so as long as we have this vibe towards education that really stunts our growth both collectively and individually i don't want to say individually but collectively because well heard... individually because we are we are one people still so individually if, if your brother not good individually then you can't be good individually so you're at your career true but why why at this point do we have such disdain towards education such well, towards the acquirement of knowledge and when i say knowledge i'm just not talking about uh book knowledge or historical knowledge as you would say mm -hmm. but even knowledge in regards to stuff that can help us thrive in this in this society in this environment that be that's because right right now we're in, we're in the advertisement advertisement age 
and there's different products and different thought, thought processes that are basically advertised to us on a daily basis. So with this constant advertisement now of, of um, these Eurocentric ideas, these hidden fascist agendas, all of these things now basically come to our brain and our brain process these things as the norm. And this and advertisement is a major thing that is getting us out. So every time when that person might be thinking about reading, they get sidetracked by a new series that came out. They got sidetracked by a new a new song or new 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 vlog or some gossip that came out that they, their mind automatically feel like this is more entertaining than doing the original thing and finding finding out about myself. So it's not that some people some people actually try, you know, but they can't get a sense of discipline because these things, the advertisements, take over so much space that they don't even get the time to focus and see these intellectual things that they need to know. So it's really about, it's the neuroscience that really catches them, you know. That's why the book, the, this, that same book called Biology, The Truth and Lie About Why We Buy, that is really a book where it enlightens people's brain and it shows you how advertisement within a capitalistic age really affect the brain and stop the brain from going towards certain intellectual processes yes i who, who wrote that book again biology um as a matter of fact i have it in my library right now let, 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 let me go for this book right now in the library yeah because this book is really it it's it, and actually this man he he was an um he's a marketing expert for different um corporate companies so he's a person who worked to fix um fix the imagery of different companies his name is mart martin lindstrom yeah 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 because truthfully that's like one of the books i believe people should like um yes, right. my book there propaganda by yes, edward sir. bernays the father of public relations yes i that is a book that people definitely should read in, in the book there biology because it shows you the scientific the scientific. strategic yes sir. approach they use to manipulate you to let go of the money and to yearn because when you really check it right now what what's going on is that what they're doing is saying that we can you want to be cool we can sell it to you yes, you know you want right. some self-confidence we'll yes. sell it to you you want to feel you know you, you want to feel decent in society or, or have some social status we'll sell it to you but it's yeah, you don't need to thing. have the confidence but they can give the con- confidence to you at, at a price Serious that is the worst cost, statement. you know <laughs> yes sir no a big time a dangerous thing what advice would you give one who is is struggling with all the messages he he or she has received that are more in the lines of indoctrination to pursue education more more getting into their own thoughts and analyzing more anal more critical thinking that is yes sir well my my, my first advice would be for stop just stop. If you're walking, stop. If you're if you're running, stop. If you're being fidgety, stop. And then once you stop now, think. Just use your brain. Don't be biased. Take, take a non-partisan approach. Figure out everything that you've been taught. You, this is one of the first processes you have to do. Get 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 everything that you've been taught out of your mind. So because once you do that, then you take you got rid you get rid of the classical conditioning, the apparent conditioning. And once you get rid of all of these things now, then you will have room for start. So this is the first. Before you even before I even tell you what to start with, I can tell you that you should stop because you're moving at a pace that is not natural. And in order for find your rhythm, you have to stop. And stop and make sure that you're mentally satisfied with the way that you're living. Because if you're not mentally satisfied with the way that you're living, the physicality will never follow. So this, this is the first advice before I even tell you to do X, R, R, Y. And then once you process yourself and realize who you really are, then you will go to find different sources that can entertain you the right way in an educational way, give you knowledge in an educational way, and everything that comes with finding your true identity. So you have to just stop first, and once you stop, get your thoughts together and get rid of everything that people have given you that is that that might be biased or even if it's not biased get rid of it and then start putting information on your own that you think you need that is relevant to your well-being and mental well-being first then physical yes sir hold on two sec hey boo boo who the breaks in that so you gotta relearn everything <laughs> huh 
Yeah, 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 yeah. The regular Renee Day card said one time you just gotta relearn everything uh, and purge out, you know? I read I read I read a book called Renee Day Card, it's a kind of black and orange what about the name? Totally forget what uh, yeah, no, yeah, the name ring out, ring out quick. That's nah, reality yeah. fire. You got purge out most of the stuff you learn. It's time for the scratch. Yeah, time. man. And no disrespect it, it, to nobody, it, it, but. It's detrimental in a fire, man. Nah, big time, tell man. You, the work, and I can't be lazy either. Because I can't have a comfort zone if I really want to win a buckle. The buckle between good and evil. Might as well we just do the good and do it to the utmost best of your ability. So, them things that are some really silly and thing. I talk to myself all the time and say where I want to be. And I don't really blame nobody for be at a particular level, level because I know say me can rise to any level or more or more rise to you know. Yeah, because and it, uh, it's funny that you said that because everybody at the universal thing. It's just some people are lazy. They don't want to put in no work fire. Yes, I think I, that's the source of it. You know, they yes, don't want to put in no work and like people can't deal with things not working out the way they plan it to work out. So for instance, now say you want to reach somewhere. Yeah, we don't know when you're going to reach there, but you know you're going to reach there. But it's of like, course. if I don't reach there next month, they just drop it and keep it moving, you know? Yes, I And them not, them, them not have the consistency because most people don't realize that repetition and, con- and you have to have repetition and consistency for really pursue anything we you have in life, you know? True. Enough, enough can't, can't stand it because they're not mentally prepared. So we give thanks for the reason and tell you the truth, yo. Yes, sir. And hopefully one could listen to this and get a little strength and get a little insight. And, you know, definitely we encourage those to read. And when you get free time, uh, click the link there and download your free copy of Ink News. Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like.